Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Madhu, I am a GCS MDM support engineer and today's topic is GDM integration with MDM. And below are the agenda items. What is GDM? How does dynamic data masking work? And the demo. What is GDM? GDM is a security tool that operates between an application and a database to prevent unauthorized access to sensitive data. It basically intercepts the request that sent to the DB and applies data masking rule to the data before it shows back to the data on the E360 screen. Now let's take an example. We have a production ORS which contains the sensitive data of a person including the SSN number. So when an authorized user logs into E360, the DDM which is sitting on top of the MDM should make sure that the data of entire SSN should be visible to the authorized user. Whereas a call center user logs into the E360, the DDM should make sure the only last four digits of the SSN number is visible to him. Whereas the third party user logs into the E360, it should make sure that none of the SSN number values should be visible to the Now let's see how it actually works. So we have a ORS with data when an authorized user is making a request to the ORS and you can see it will accept it as the authorized user and it sends the data back to the user screen without any masking rules applied. Whereas an unauthorized user uh, makes a request to the data, the DDM intercepts it as the unauthorized user and applies a masking rule and provide the data back to the user with a masking rules up. Now let's go to the demo. For the purpose of this demo, I'm using MDM Multi-Domain Edition 10.4 hotfixed 2 along with a supported DDM version. I have installed DDM in this location. You can see whether the DDM service is up and running and not using uh, this command. Now this tell me there is a dynamic data masking server which is running on 8195 port. Let's go to the DDM management console. The main components of the DDM are DDM server, management console, data masking service and the rule engine. When you right click on this DDM server, you will see an option to add DDM services and you see multiple options to create uh, each service for uh, each database. Now currently we are using DDM for Oracle. Since I've already created a DDM service for Oracle, the options to create uh, it again is visible. Now let's go back to the DDM service for Oracle which I created. And you can see the ports available uh, for this DDM services 1525 and 1526. This tells me this service listens on these two ports. Now it's time to create a database on the DDM server. The database that I'm going to use is a database where my MDM instance is currently running. If you go back to the MDM instance, there is an ORS which is registered and you can see it has a, a database details where it is currently running. Now I'm going to use these details and create a database on the DDM. So the naming I'm giving it as a MDM. The instance name would be the ORCL and the listener address is localhost and the port is 1521 and the service name would be ORCL and I would need to provide the system user details of the database and once you give all details make sure to test connectivity and once the validation is successful you will see the validated message say ok ok now I have created a DDM service for Oracle and the database now the most important part now is to create a connection rules so connection rules are nothing but a rules that tells you how to treat your incoming connections that comes via MDM port. You can use this new rule uh, option to append a new rule. I've already created a rule uh, called admin underscore rule. Th th this tells nothing but um, accept all incoming connections and apply a rule set called MDM rule set, nothing else. And it will, you will have another uh, multiple options to choose the next action like continue, stop if applied, stop if matched. All the details about these extra options are available in the TDM configuration guide. Now let's say OK and go back. Now I have created a service with a connection rule and I specified a rule set uh, name MDM underscore rules right. So I am going to create a same rule set with the same name. So make sure you are going to create a rule set with the same name which you specified in the rule connection. So when you right click and you will see an option to create add rule set. So I've already created a rule set called MDM rule set. Now I will go inside this rule set. So I have a rule created under this rule set. So let's go to the edit option. 
so this rule is nothing but um, any any request which is matching this I have not you can if you have a user specific you can mention all those details here but uh, for the purpose of this demo I am just using any option so I have a table I have a column I am doing a masking function so whenever uh, with connection which comes from a source database with a c underscore party table containing a identifier column this masking rule will be applied on this column so once you create all this you have to say ok go back so I have created a DDM service for Oracle I have created a connection rules I have created a connection rule set which contains the rules for masking I also have a database so now let's go to the hub console so when you generally register a ORS you see an option to specify the DDM connector where your DDM instance is listening which is on 1525 and 1526 port either of one so since I already have one ORS registered the only way I can edit uh, the port number in the DDM connect URL is through the backend because if I edit the connect URL here it will automatically edit both uh, JDBC as well as my DDM connect URL but I only need to specify the DDM connect URL uh, with a 1525 port so now let's go to the database where uh, my ORS is registered so you will see uh, if you go to the CMX system Zeropos database you have an entry for the MDM sample and if you go to the end you see a connect URL uh, option for DDM so go to the end you will see a DDM connect URL and update this port to 1526 you can go to the DDM console and you see it's running on 1525 or 1526 so I'm using 1526 now once you do this make an update and commit it so come back to the MDM app console you will see it as 1521 right so once you refresh the database it will turn into 1526 and you can give the MDM sample database password and say update and say yes ok and you can release the lock so the masking rule which I applied is uh, simple if you go to the rules I have a rule ok so when sc underscore party table contains identifier column which comes through the DDM it will it will apply this masking function so now let's go to the uh, e360 screen I am logging in go to queries go to person query expand the query and I already created a user for the purpose of this demo so let's open Tom Cruise so you can see the SSN number for this record is masked so if you look at the rule which I am using here so it's, it's only showing the first three characters of the SSN number and it's applying a masking rule for the rest so if you go if I go to the database okay I have uh, established a connection between two databases as I said uh, I have a MDM database I have a DDM database which I created here so the DDM database is running on 1525 and the MDM database is running on the 1521 so I have made a connection to both of them here and if you see the MDM database and if you look at the SSN number for the same identifier I could see the complete SSN number in the MDM sample but when I log into the E360 screen it makes a connection to the MDM database through the DDM database so if you look at uh, my DDM database so it will try to make a connection to this ORCL running on 1521 through the ORCL running on 1526 so if I go to the DDM database and search for the same uh, record and I would see the masked data available here so let's go back to the um, DDM management console and disable the rules which is masking this data go to the rule set go to the edit option you will see a rule which you created and you have an option to disable this rule so once I disable this rule and go back to the E360 and let me open the same record again I am opening the same record again and you would see the data is unmasked now so when a rule on the DDM is applied I see the data as masked when a rule on the DDM is disabled I see the data as uh, unmasked you 
can apply the similar rules as per uh, your requirement uh, for example if you want to hide the uh, phone number you can apply a rule on the phone number if you want to hide or mask the data of the salary you can apply uh, for um, salary field the following articles contain the complete details of how DDM can be integrated with the MDM we like to hear back from you please reach out to us on below email and uh, return for support thank you everyone